So today I'll just be explaining to you guys about some of the hardware that goes into making a 3D printer. Um, this right here is called a ramps board and what it does is it breaks out the functionality of these this Arduino or the AT Mega chips. Um, this is this is called an Arduino uh, and it basically just uses an AT Mega chip uh, to break out the functionality of this chip to, the, to these pins so that people can put things on like this uh, which is called a shield. <coughs> and what this did is, is it's got just a whole bunch of traces to break out these pins into uh, a nice form factor so that you can use all the functionality that you need for a 3D printer. Um, over here is the power rail input uh, for the ramps board. And if I can pull that off, uh, it makes it so it's easy to pull off and put back on, uh, reasonably easy anyways. Um, so, you know, say positive, wait, negative, positive, negative, positive, and these are 12 volt supplies. Uh, I think you can go up higher than that, but we're going to be using 12 volt supplies today. Um, over here, we've got, uh, this is where you would plug in your hot end, your heated bed, and um, any other thing, a uh, fan usually is what you would plug in for the other one. Um, we see these things here. These are the motor drivers that run the steppers, and these come off. Um, these come off, and you can buy different versions of these motor driver steppers, or these uh, stepper drivers. And right here is a trim pot which controls the voltage to the steppers, and this is going to be dependent on what type of stepper that you're using. Uh, different steppers operate at different amperages, so you need to control for that so that you don't overload the chip by passing too much current through the chip um, and so that you have enough current uh, to, to maintain your optimum holding torque for your for your stepper motors. So all in all uh, this is just an easy form factor package for the 3D printer. You've got uh, plugins over here for your thermistors for your hot ends so that you can monitor temperature and the temperature of your bed. Um, there's actually three slots so that if you want to put an extra uh, an extra temperature sensor in there you can do that. There's also uh, places broken out where you can plug in over here there's a, an expansion board that allows you to plug in um, an LCD uh, this is a called smart adapter uh, so that you can have a heads up display so whenever you don't have your computer plugged in. Uh, so you can run uh, a G code directly off of the SD card that's into this in this package. Um, so this is like an all in one open source, like community driven package that this has a ridiculous amount of hardware. Um, and I wanted to show you another couple of Arduino packages. This is this is the same sort of chip, it's just smaller and it's in a different form factor. But basically, if you took it upon yourself, you could break out the functionality of these pins and do the same thing. You just would have to make your own breadboard to use this smaller form factor. And also, this is the Arduino Uno. Um, this is another small form factor that they have that's basically the most popular model that they have for hobbyist projects. Um, but today we're just going to be using the Mega. I just wanted to show you some other some of the other platforms. So they were going to be using the Mega with the ramps board plugged in, and it simply plugs right in. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it works. Just plug it right in, and it's good to go. And uh, after you upload your firmware, we're going to test uh, our whole hardware setup. And this is. The Rambo board. This is the one we're going to actually be using for the project. However, I'm going to be showing you how to use both boards today. Uh, this is this is a Rambo, and if you remember that chip underneath on the Mega, this is the exact same chip. And like I said before, these are the same stepper drivers. They have the same functionality. These do 1 16th micro steps, um, which on this board is enabled by jumpers, and this board it's enabled in the firmware. And like I told you before, with these digital, these trim pots, in this version, in this form factor, the, uh, the, the trim is set in the firmware. So I'm going to show you how to set that value in the firmware for your, um, for your stepper motor type 2 later on. 
um, and just to show you that it has the same functionality these are all your stepper motors where you connect those up this is where you connect your thermo your uh, thermistors to monitor your temperature um, this is where you would connect your your fans your hot end your heated bed and this is where you plug in your um, your power and the one good thing about this is it's got three separate rails one for your hot end, one for your your uh, heated bed, and one for your motor drivers, and they're all separate and they're all protected by separate fuses. So, if you have a problem on one circuit, you can figure out which circuit it is, and you can uh, troubleshoot your project. If you have a problem, we're also going to be plugging in these little uh, end stops uh, to test the functionality. And what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in some stepper motors. We're going to go home and then we're going to click it to simulate it going home so that it stops the homing procedure so that we can verify that our motors are plugged in correctly and they turn the right way and that our end stops are working and they're set up correctly on the firmware um, I'm also going to wire up the hot end and get it working, make sure it works uh, I'll, so that we can have the whole system hooked up and uh, ready to go and here's the heated bed and since I can't actually uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and put it on the bed and we'll see this work today too. Um, and we're also going to plug in the fan because we need to do the fan. But um, we're going to start over here with, uh, with the power supply. Um, we probably, hold on a second, we'll record another one. I got to start.